So you're the Jew hunter. I'm a detective. A damn good detective. Finding people is my specialty, so naturally I worked for the Nazis finding people. And yes, some of them were Jews, but Jew hunter? <laughs> Just a name that stuck. Working with Quentin was one of the three jobs. I've been doing it now for 30 years. One of the three jobs where I can say it was worthwhile having become an actor. Tarantino is made up of being a film fan and a film master. It's like it's a walking encyclopedia you know, of film. Not only does he know any obscure film that you could tell him, he's also going to quote a line for you or tell you a scene that he particularly liked. He's so enthusiastic, he knows everything, every little nuance about the character he's written. And uh, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling to be on a set that's so enthusiastic about film. And that's, that's down to Quentin. He reached deep inside of himself and pulled out something for this film that is just jaw-dropping. He's directing it with such an energy and such a fever and such a determination and such focus. It's, he's putting something incredible on the screen that only he could do that no one's ever seen before. You see it in his life, and you see it in his movies, and it's thrilling to watch. He's not, you know, just a film director. I think Quentin is an artist. So kind of fun with Quentin is that he's so true to the world that he creates. He can't fake it. I mean, the world might be a fantasy, but within that fantasy, everything's got to be real. And that's what's so kind of interesting about the way he writes and the way he directs. <laughs> Just reading the script, you really felt like Quentin had reached a new level of writing, and watching him shoot, you feel like he has yet reached another level of directing. German a gala premiere. In attendance will be most of the German high command. You'll rendezvous with our double agent. She'll take it from there. You're getting us in that premiere. It's suicide. What else are we going to do? Go home? So what's the plan? We punch those goons out, take their machine guns, and burst in there blasting. Is that the plan? That's about it. Or not. The cast really is impeccable. They really, really support the movie. It's almost, it's I'm almost, it's the, I'm almost kind of building the, the film on the cast, actually, in a lot of ways. They're almost the foundation of the film, the acting. He just gives you all the confidence you need. So I just listen to him and, and, and he just take my hand and it's, it's easy. Vous vous souvenez de mon nom? Oui. Écoutez, vous avez l'air d'être un petit peu plutôt agréable. Merci. Je vous en prie. Quoi qu'il en soit, j'aimerais que vous cessiez de m'ennuyer. I'd met Brad a couple of times, and I knew that he was interested in working with me, and I was interested in working with him. Um, but you know, it's. It, but you know, it doesn't really work that way with me. It is a situation where it always is the character first. I'm putting together a special team. We're gonna be doing one thing and one thing only. Killing Nazis. Sound good? I'm gonna assume you know who we are. Everybody in the German army's heard of you. You probably heard we ain't in the prisoner taking business. We in the killing Nazi business. And cousin, business is out booming. <laughs> And uh, just have, sometimes the movie gods frown on you, sometimes they smile on you. <laughs> he told me that he would love me to play uh, Sergeant Hugo Sticklitz in a set I'm in. He was actually suggesting that I might actually be in this movie for real. I, I just jumped on that. Would you like to play a British general in a World War II movie and Rod Taylor's playing Winston Churchill in a Tarantino film? Doesn't get such a bad. An American Secret Service outfit lives deep behind enemy lines. The Germans call them the bastards. These Yanks have been them the devil. We're all tickled to hear you say that. <laughs> 